Solving linear equations part two. So this is an interesting problem. You can actually do this in five seconds if you understand this, but we'll be doing this algebraically. Okay, so let's just see one by x. Let me write it like they wrote it in the problem. One by x is equal to one by five. We want both of these sides to be equivalent to each other. It's like setting two equal to two. This is equal to itself, so it's going to be true. If we have one equal to one, also true. If we have two fifths equal to two fifths, this is going to also be true. Three fifths equal to three fifths, or let's say three halves is equal to three halves. This is also true. So these are just true things. And, and what we want to do is we want to do to, in this equation, we want to make each of these sides equivalent to each other because that's what we have here, an equal sign. And in order to do that, x needs to be a value. If we rewrite this to be 1 over x is equal to 1 over 5, x must be 5 in order for this to be true. Because 1 over 5 is then equal to 1 over 5. And that's a check for us, right? This is our, this is our check step, our check. So we can automatically just say that this is our right answer. But we can also do this algebraically if we wanted to. If we, if we just didn't see this, we can always do this. So let's see. Say we didn't know that we can just do this, so let's just do it this way. So I'm just going to multiply by 5 on both sides here. This would cancel. This is just going to be 5 by x is equal to 1. I can multiply by x on both sides as well, so let's just do that. You could have done this in one step. I just wanted to do it in two steps. So this is going to be 5 is equal to 1x, which is just going to be equal to x. right? So that's just your answer right over here.